Hello everybody, this is Naomi. Today I'm doing a hat reef uh, project. And this is the little hat that we're going to use. So you're going to need a little hat like this. You're also going to need one of the small reefs. And then I have a dill of the daisies, the purple daisies. Then I have a um, till of the amaryllis, I guess that's what you call it. And then this one is the hop bush. Turn it around so you can see it. And then I have a till of cattails. And then I just have some plain greenery. I got these at, got this one at Dollar General and this one at Dollar Tree. All of this is from Dollar Tree other than this one. And you're gonna need some hot glue, some bags like this, and maybe a some ribbon to make a bow. I haven't decided yet. So we're going to get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off, which I had already done and removed some of the uh, glue. And then you have your reef. One of the problems that I'm having is I don't like how this hat keeps sinking in in the middle. So one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bag and I'm going to lay it out and I'm going to fold it in half just like this here and I'm going to fold it in half again and then I'm just going to kind of roll it up and I'm going to put it like this. Then I'm going to take me some hot glue and I'm just going to evenly stick it on here like this so that it will, and the hot glue is going to melt the bag just a little bit, but you just need it just so that it will hold it firmly in place and not open back up. And then the next thing that I'm going to do Yes, I'm going to put some hot glue in here because I want it to hold it in place. So there's that. So now I'm going to take this and where we glued it together, it's going to go face down. Be careful and don't burn yourself with the hot glue that you just stuck in there. And that's going to help push that back out to where it's not flat. So, and I've just got a couple of other bags that I'm just going to stick in here to help fill it up. Just like this. And like I said, that helps keep that popped up. I guess I should have looked at that a little closer when I um, got it. Now, there is a ending spot here where they finished it off at. I want that to be my bottom. So I'm going to set it here. I'm going to put my ring in here and I want the second ring to touch the whole rim of that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put a good healthy rim of glue and I'm just going to do it on one side for the moment Sure that touches where you've got your glue. Okay. 
Okay. I need another glue stick to attach back here. And just where you left off, easily raise it up and put more glue down. And just from the outside, push in on the hat so you know that it seals to it. And just continue to do that until you get all the way around to where you left off. And like I said, just easily press forward. Because that's going to be your hold point. And then I'm just going to come back and weave over it so that it holds that way too. Because I really want that to stay adhesed. And by putting plenty of glue over the top. Oh, let me get this back over here in the scene. Just keep going back and forth. Over the top. And that will reinforce that. To where it holds on. And if it gets on the bag, it's not going to hurt it any. But that just reinforces it so that it doesn't come off. Okay, so give that a few minutes to cool off. And I'm not too worried about this one holding on. Because once it's up against the wall, it's not going to go nowhere anyways. See, it's still just a little tacky. So... I want to make sure I got it all good and attached. Stop that. I didn't make it all the way around. If you got any spider webs from the. Just easily pull it off. And there's my hanger. So, let's let this set and dry for a few minutes. And so I'll set it over here. So, one of the things that I'm going to do is start cutting off my and I'm just going to cut them off right here at the bottom and then if I need them shorter I'll cut them shorter okay So that's all of those. And da -da -da -da. Doing these the same way. Okay. Pull 
that off. Stick this back down the center of your grass and connect it back. So there's those. Then just get them all cut up that way as we get started we can just kind of run with it and keep going easy does it So there are those. And we're going to do the same with these. So there's all of those. Then I'm going to cut off just a few. I'm not going to cut them all off, but I want a few of the, well, there's only four on here, so I'm just going to cut them. And do the same with this bunch. That way these are ready. As we craft and put this together so all of these are ready all of these are ready so I'm just gonna start kind of moving them out of the way that way I can get started putting down the ones that I want to put down first so that's the top of the roof that way so, the one that looks just like that. I'm cutting that off and then I'm going to basically round this so that Stay where I want it. Mm. Mm. Got my thumb in the and my pinky finger in that. That smarted. Okay. I need this out from under there. That way, this will lay 
just like I want it. Just like so. So there's that. Okay. Send this back around. And we're going to pull this up. Set that one right there. Run about there. And all I'm doing is gluing that one on the back side. That way it comes out in a different angle than what the other ones are. So let me give this a minute to cool off and I'll be right back. 
Okay. So, I'm going to come in over here. And I'm going to put this one in about the same place that I put that one. Just like that and give it some greenery. And I forgot to show y'all one of the neatest tools that I bought here lately. And I just remembered it and I thought, well, I'll pull it out. I love this thing. It's put out by Steve, uh, Jim, uh, Tim Holtz. And it's got the the edger here and then it's got this right here you, what you do with it is you take and you place that on the glue and it helps that glue get colder quicker 